Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Kyle, Lone Star Garage. Got a uh, unfortunate but a fortunate situation here. Uh, my other utility trailer, 16 foot, uh, 5,000 pound utility trailer, got stolen this week. Uh, had some projects coming up, my brother's business, stuff like that. So um, we're out here in Caldwell. As y'all saw on the way, we made a road trip from Houston to Caldwell, Texas, just a little bit uh, west of College Station. And we're at Kawasaki of Caldwell. We have found a trailer that we're going to purchase probably. Got to still go sit down and do all the paperwork, see if it's available and whatnot. But, uh, all signs are looking good that we will be able to purchase it. It is going to be this Diamond C HDT equipment trailer. Okay. It is a 20 foot, 14,000 pound trailer, tilt deck, tandem axle trailer. So it's a very big upgrade from the trailer that got stolen this past week. Excited to have something like this to pull vehicles up on and equipment. Uh, my brother builds barbecue pits as a welder, so it'd be nice to have something that we can throw materials on, vehicles, side by side, stuff like that. Y'all have got the 20 foot HDT, uh, 20, so 20 foot, <clears throat> you're gonna have a four foot of deck space and 16 foot of tilt. Uh, you get your adjustable Dimco coupler. Uh, so that y'all may or may not be familiar with that, but it's a pretty pretty neat uh, hitch. You're just gonna put it on the ball, flip that down, and that's basically gonna be, be latched there. So DOT approved. Um, this trailer has the added upgraded HD V-ton lid. I can get it over here. So you get your spare tire mount inside, you can see that. Plenty of space for chains and binders or what have you. It is lockable, I'll have a key for y'all. Um, this is gonna shut back. And you're actually gonna have a seven gauge steel top. So if you needed to run a scissor lift or something up here, you've got space. Um, strap a uh, pump or toolbox or something like that. So you've got that there. Uh, 12K uh, drop leg jack. That's I believe that's gonna be a standard option, but that's something that they do. Um, you've got your side step. That was an added option. And then of course we talked about your winch plate. So that is an added winch plate there. Um, you've got a stake pockets with the pipe with the lace rail. So they've added that as well. Um, on the other side, I'll show you, but I believe you do have four folders on this trailer as well. Right. Um, I'll have to look and see on the other side. Um, this is actually how you actually tilt your bed. So you got your manual latch here. This pin is pulled out. You're going to release that. And then right here, it's going to show you. This one may not show it, but it's actually the valve is open. So I'm going I'm to stand on it and it's going to come down slow. So as you can see, whether you weigh 200 pounds or if I put a machine that weighs 2,000 pounds, that trailer is going to slowly come back with a damper, right. and when I step up on here in a minute, it's going to slowly come down. So, a lot of our competitors' trailers, when you start going out past that focal point, that whole trailer is going to slant. Yeah. So, but I'm going to slow. I'm going to walk up here. Why it's coming down? I'll show you. you got a winch roller here. So if you ever put a winch on there, this is going to. It's not going to waste. It's not going to mess your your lead there. And then once you get your equipment loaded. You'll just simply come here, latch that, step down, and then you're going to put your pin in. And then you're just going to put your valve, close your valve, and that's pretty much it. So, um, walking back to the back, you got 16 inch black wheels, and then you've got your heavy duty 316 fenders. So, that's also an upgraded yeah. that, that is really nice, especially you mentioned loading material from the side guys bumping it. You know, if you had a car or something that was a little wider, rubbing the fender just not going to mess through. Mr. Fender's up. Uh, you got these things to tie on. Diamond plate uh, back there. All right, y'all, so there you go. Uh, Keith here at Kawasaki of Caldwell gave us a little tour of it. Um, this is a decently optioned Diamond C trailer. It's on the probably low to mid-level option. They have other deck options. They have other jack options. They have spare tire mounts. They have other accessory mounts onto the, the front of the trailer. In this market, this is August 13th, 2022. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I hope I have one more coming out. Um, as y'all saw, the black 22 F-150. It's not mine, but it's in the family. I'll tell y'all more about that in a separate video. But it's just time to upgrade trailers. Uh, other trailer didn't have trailer brakes, and we don't have any more. It got stolen. So this one has a double 
dual axles with brakes. Um, it's rated for 14,000 pounds. Obviously, everyone knows F-150 pulling it or a half-ton truck pulling it. That's more than it's you're going to want to tow comfortably, especially on the highway. So this is a trailer we're going to grow into, but we can use it with our lighter duty trucks. In the future, we'll definitely obviously upgrade trucks and uh, hopefully if things keep going well, we'll be able to uh, get more trailers than just this one. But this one is well-rounded for everything we want to do. My brother's barbecue pit business, uh, making you know, offset smokers, uh, building supplies, just normal uh, everyday supplies that you need. Uh, furniture, just little things like that. Has the ability to put a car on it. That's one of my next things is to try to get some type of uh, toy car that we can take around. Uh, one of the upcoming videos is going to be uh, going to an event that uh, I would like to possibly go to multiple times a year. So stay tuned for that. So uh, we're going to go inside, get some paperwork done. We'll get some pictures of this towing and stuff like that coming up. So this latch open, closed, but you leave it closed when the Pinch is gonna fall down, and you'll see it, it'll pop. These Dimco quick easy latches are definitely the new creme de la creme of trailer latches. Just like that, it's locked on. All right, y'all, so we got the trailer home. Pulled well, pulled like a dream. Didn't even know it was back there. Uh, got nothing but good things to say about this trailer so far. We only have about 150 miles on it, but uh, so far the experience has been well. A um, couple things that we, reasons we purchased a Diamond C, now that we're away from the dealership. Uh, just the overall quality. You know, all LED lights grommeted in. They're not, they don't wiggle around. The paint, or the powder coating job is immaculate they market this DM coating system it's a lot different than a normal trailer company like uh, PJ or uh, Top Hat or any of them um, they actually take the time to make sure the surfaces are prepped primed and then coated correctly so that's a big thing for us we want a trailer that we didn't have to worry about paint chipping off in a year or two uh, or anything like that um, then of course like we said some of the options like this toolbox right here, if this is the only manufacturer doing this on a trailer like this. You know, full size spare, plenty of room for straps. It's, I wanna say almost a foot deep, maybe a little less than a foot deep. It's got drainage holes in it. Um, we're gonna, gonna consider moving this possibly to the underside so we can have all this for straps and, and uh, tools and stuff like that when we're on the road, floor jack, stuff like that. But um, little features like this, this thing is 316 steel. It's 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 heavy. It's it's got some substantial weight to it. And you flip that that switch, and it pops right up. A lockable latch. Uh, just little things like that. That's why we chose Diamond C. Then some of the options like this step. Uh, it's 32 inches wide. You can just step right on up and in. Um, then this whole front deck area. This is a 20 foot trailer deck to tip. But then you gain this other three and a half, almost four feet of space up here um, that you can put a generator or a cooler up here and still have a full-size vehicle back here. So little things like that is why we chose this. It is a premium trailer. It's a lot more expensive than other um, manufacturers, but we feel like for us, uh, multiple companies are going to be using this. My brother, the business partner of ours. So uh, multiple of us are going to be using this for different things, from building supplies to cars to... Um, metal work propane tanks like i was saying back at the dealership but um just the attention to detail one of the other options is this rub rail um the standard option is i believe four or six stake pockets like this but then they weld on this rub rail so you can use those nice big four inch ratchet straps that just hook right on and um super smooth easy to tie things down on a trailer like this that has these rub rails uh, marker lights um eight lug uh, wheels, like I said, they were uh, 7,000 pound axles. This is a 14,000 pound trailer. Um, so this would be plenty enough to do anything with a half ton truck like we have. Um, 
the two prominent trucks are going to be obviously this 2022 f-150 and my 2021 f-150 out there so those are the two vehicles that will prominently be pulling this um one of my favorite other features is standard on this one but not all the other trailers have it these four d-rings you know for a car or a piece of equipment bobcat skid steer tractor those are in the perfect spot to tie those down so you don't have to worry about your straps getting you know chafed down here on this rub rail or underneath or having to search for a spot to to uh tie down those big pieces of equipment so uh, super safe reflective tape everywhere on it lights everywhere on it uh, all leds no expense spared on you know the proper lighting you need for a trailer like this and look how much room is underneath the back deck of that obviously it comes down so you get this really cool profile looks like a they call it a knife edge here that uh gives it a cool little characteristic that not a lot of trailers have um it's hard to find a tilt deck with features like this right now in 2022 um so we kind of found this the week of our other trailer getting stolen so we just had to jump on it the tires come pre-balanced everything's torqued to spec um high-end leaper axles uh, six leaf leaf springs so like this is the real deal fork jacks that's one of the options that this trailer has the two main options this trailer has is three the fork jacks the winch plate this is not the winch box they do offer a upgrade where this box is similar in size you have a lever on the driver's side and it opens up and your winch pops up it's locked in ready to go to pull and then you can just flip the lid down this doesn't have that. This is just a plate with uh, reinforcements underneath some C-channel. So uh, we will be putting a winch in, or at least having the ability to put a winch in. That's one of the things we want to do. Um, but the forks, the winch plate, and that 32-inch step are all uh, upgrades to this trailer and the rub rails. So those four things uh, make this a non-standard trailer. And as you can see, they thought about everything. The, they have pre-knockouts in this box for... We're running power in. I don't know if y'all can see that with the lighting right now. But right here, there's a knockout, just like a, a conduit electrical box in that box. So you can run, you know, any other cable or power into it. The powder coating feels great. It's nice and thick. Um, the roller for the winch right here. So when the tilt deck's up, um, the winch is up here. So the deck, the, the deck is up above the height of the winch. So you have to have something for that winch cable or winch line to, to for rollover, and that just helps with pulling power. It helps pull that item you're dragging up the trailer with ease. So you pair this with the right white, you pair this with the right winch, it's going to be unstoppable for moving equipment. So that's kind of what we wanted to do. This lever system is pretty cool. Pull this cotter pin for the tilt deck. Pull that cotter pin. Push this back. It releases as you see it popped up here. Then this is in the on on position, flowing, not flowing. So it's got a steel well hydraulic jack underneath. We'll stand up here and show you how this works. You literally just stand on it and up up we go. Or down we go, depending on what end you're on. And I weigh about 200 pounds and it's moving pretty quick. They say it shouldn't change much speed from a vehicle to a bobcat. They try to keep it this slow safe speed so no one gets pinched nothing gets dropped quickly and you're not slamming anything down so you can have it up it stays up perfectly balanced and as you can see all the hydraulic lines come through these holes these holes are shaved down so they're not sharp nice bracketry and that latch it's not going to come undone you see the axles under here look at all the bracing like this is the real deal um, all these stainless steel fittings on all these lines hydraulic reservoir and there's that ram this is not the electric version this is all gravity so it's less to maintain obviously if you have a big 35 foot gooseneck or something like that you might want the electric tilt deck because it is a bigger deck this is only a 16 foot uh, deck that tilts but yeah you can come back over here and lock it and it won't move you can drive a car and park it up on this incline and then come back, release it, and it'll come right down. It comes down nice and slow. So, as you can tell, this trailer is, it's, I'd say considered a top of the line trailer. There's only one or two other manufacturers that I would even put up against this Diamond C. And um, in this market right now, you just can't, can't find those trailers. 
currently. So this is a perfect trailer for us right now. Obviously in the future, if you know, YouTube goes well, other businesses go well, we'll upgrade trailers and of course y'all will be along for that ride. So um, let's walk up here. I believe it's a 10 or 12 degree incline. I can't remember. Of course, if you're parked on a slope or something like that, it will change. But I'm not even on the end and we're already going down. And as you can hear, it's make some the fluid moving makes some noises but when we hit it's not gonna slam just kisses nice and softly and that's it so what you do is you stand on the on the deck so it doesn't lift and you just kick the latch back and that's it so uh like i said so far we've really enjoyed this trailer i've only had it for a couple hours now but um maybe the first couple loads will take y'all on and give you a feedback in a couple months and let you know how things are going some tin ply tires um, so as, this is as good as it gets so as you can see we're gonna put the OG 98 up on the trailer we got it tilted down and locked don't mind the brakes squeaking you're gonna hear them we got some fixes for that coming so go ahead Release the latch, and down she comes. Go for it. Super soft. Down she comes. Boom. Lock it, lock it, and now you can pull forward a little bit to get the weight distribution right. But, I mean, that's not in a bad spot right there. So there you go. That's simple. No ramps, no uneven ramps, you know, tire spin throwing the ramp out from underneath, the ramp popping up and hitting the underbelly, all that's taken out of this situation by having a tilt deck. And obviously it's about as big as vehicles you're going to want to put on here. You could put a dually on and let it hang over the sides, but once again, pulling with a 1500 truck, you don't want to be pulling that much weight. This is still very comfortable. Uh, this truck weighs I think like 40, 300 pounds or so. And uh, it's still squatting the truck a little bit, so we might want to roll it back a little bit if we were going to tow with it. But we're just throwing it up on the trailer just for the sake of video. Uh, we don't have really any adjustment that we've made since just picking the trailer up, so there's still plenty of room to adjust and get this a little more level. The trailer is sitting fairly level though, so um, maybe in the future we do some helper springs or something, but this would be probably near the max of the load we would do for this trailer maybe. Uh, definitely height wise for sure. So, just want to get it on video, show you all what it looks like, how the ease of a tilt deck, the purpose of a tilt deck. So, just like that. So here we're gonna go off. Unlocked, unlocked. Just slightly roll back, just a hit. Consider that as you can see it's not falling down but if I just put my weight on the back it falls down so the engine weight of the vehicle is what's keeping it from coming down obviously that's gonna be different trucks don't have any weight over the rear so we're just gonna put some weight on the back here and down she comes so that little bit of weight is what can can make this uh, lock it up work and not work not a problem obviously you want to do lock it Lock it, we're good to go. Roll off now. Just like that. Right. And as you can tell, the, the back does come up and down a little bit. That's has to do with the front of the trailer going up and down. So, just like that. And obviously it's the first time we're ever putting anything on this trailer. So we're gonna learn some tips and tricks. So don't judge us on, you know, if we, didn't lock it at the right point or locked it too late or anything like that so we're gonna learn but it's that simple got all locked down and uh like i said earlier thank y'all for watching the video like subscribe uh if y'all want to see more about the trailers or have any questions comment below i'll answer them uh, so 
Hope to see you on the channel a little bit more often. Talk to you later. Bye.